Okay, so, so we discussed about uh, what are the basic requirements of requirements to form a network. So like you say, it is a network, like you need a devices. Of course, the devices must have a some kind of NIC. Network interface card. Generally, LAN card or NIC card. We'll discuss first and then to connect these uh, devices together, we need a cables. So we'll see different type of cables. OK, nowadays, of course, we are using a Wi-Fi kind of stuff. OK, so we'll see that one. OK, networking devices. So how to connect it? Either using a hub device uh, or a switch or routers. These are all we are using to connect it. Of course, this is network part. But what is networking? So communication between two or more devices is a networking. To form a networking, we need an IP addresses to communicate from one device to another device. We need a address and we need a protocols to communicate. So protocols are used to understand what kind of request uh, from the a particular device. OK, so we'll see one by one of these things. So first one is NIC. So what is a NIC network interface card? Usually I will um, I use a notepads only. Uh, I don't use the PPTs. PPTs are only to show some pictures and lines per person. Otherwise, I will type. So NIC network interface card. OK, so interface between your computer or a device to the network. We can call this one as a LAN card. Or a Ethernet card. OK, if you see somewhere like a, a, this is a Ethernet card. Meaning is it's NIC. It's a LAN card, local area network card. NIC. Land card, local area network. So it is NIC. So each NIC, every NIC, not each NIC, every NIC has an address that is called a MAC address. That is called a MAC address. Media access control access. Each NIC having a MAC address on it, which is provided by. given by manufacturer of NIC. OK, manufacturer of NIC. This is this is a NIC how it is look like. So for example, I purchase a NIC uh, Realtek NIC. So Realtek company put a, a Mac address on this NIC. I have a laptop. OK, my laptop having two interfaces. One is Wi-Fi interface and the one is LAN interface uh, means wide interface. OK, two interfaces are there. Wi-Fi and a wide interface is there. Both are manufactured by Qualcomm. Both are by Qualcomm. So both NICs are from the Qualcomm only. How to go to network adapter settings? Network adapters ncpa.cpl. See, this is my Wi Fi adapter. See, the manufacturer of this Wi Fi is you can see Qualcomm Ethros. You know, Qualcomm Snapdragon, same Qualcomm Ethros model. This is also by Qualcomm Ethros. This is a wide network. Okay. Uh, these are from VMware, VMware virtual adapters. OK, so don't worry about it. This is the one and I see this is another and I see. OK, so if you go to the NIC. So see there is a physical address. There is a physical address. So what is a physical address? Physical address is nothing but a Mac address. Mac address is also called as a physical address or a hardware address or a unique address. The size of this MAC address is in binary. It's a 48 bit. 48 bit. It represented in 
12 hexadecimal number. It represented in 12 hexadecimal. It is look like this one. So I showed my NIC, right? So how to check the MAC address? <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. How to check the MAC address? First go to adapter settings. Also called as physical address. Why it is called as a physical address? We cannot change MAC address. So manufacturer of a NIC give this. Okay. Um, um, NIC. So what? First of all, I am going to run. So one way it is, I am going to run. In that one, I put a NCPA dot CPL. Cap letters, small letters, no problem because we are in a Windows operating system, right? So NCPA dot CPL. So I'm going to run. I put NCPA dot CPL. It opens directly this network connections. Okay, next. So go through your uh, adapter. Double click or uh, right click status okay details okay lines so this is my mac address of course we can't expose uh, much about your mac address ip address kind of stuff so no problem so i will take a print screen and i will show you that uh, how how i open This is my entire screen. Okay. Um, first of all, we need to crop it. Okay. This is good. So better this is. First. So I can put it this one in bottom. Okay. Um, is better okay and also we should not show anything to anyone <laughs> it is already recording so this is very important to hide Okay, your MAC address will be here. Okay, so next one is, so this is my adapter. Okay, I, I open this adapter, so then uh, it will be open. So I click on the details. If I click on the details, this thing will be open. This is my MAC address. This is my IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, DHCP server address, DNS server address. If you want IPv6 address, there is a IPv6 address also there. Okay. Uh, of course, I can uh, unblur these things like uh, you can take. No problem. If I if I show the my uh, IP address also not a big deal, but uh, it is always a uh, better. To hide it. Okay. Okay. So, but you can see in your PC. Okay, guys. So you don't need to send anything to me. But so look at your your PC compulsory check. What are the things you will check now? So, what is your actual adapter? Find it first of all. Then uh, uh, first of all, find the your MAC address. Okay. First, find your MAC address. 
MAC address means physical address. Find the MAC address. Next, find your IP address. Okay, if it is showing anything for a IPv6, no problem because Okay, you can also check in your mobile phone also. Of course, I can't able to show my mobile phone <laughs> here because I'm not casting that one. So uh, look at here, it is uh, not much beautiful. Anything? Okay. First one is MAC address. Next one is IP address. Uh, anyway, message is conveyed. Okay, MAC address and IP address find it. Okay, this is the one way to find a MAC address and IP address. OK, so here it is. First of all, go to run. How to go to run? Windows R. In that one, ncpa.cpl. Guys, guys, if you don't know how to go to run, so you can search. Click on search button. There also you can type ncpa.cpl. OK, you can type ncpa.cpl in the search button. Otherwise, better to open run, type run. Run is open type like this okay so you will find your uh, adapter settings there find your network. see it is this also having a mac address ip address subnet mask dns address dhcp address like that dhcp enable no dhcp enable yes if you look at here in this picture the DHCP enabled, yes, means you got IP address from DHCP server. DHCP enabled, no, meaning is this is static IP address. Okay. So this is the one way to find MAC address. Yes, understand how to check the MAC address and IP address? Yes, sir. How to check these things in a command prompt? So that is a GUI prompt. Now it is command prompt. So here it is. The first one is get Mac. Okay. So I'm going to my command prompt CMD. I'm typing get Mac. Okay. Look at this. These are uh, different uh, adapters are there. Those MAC addresses. This is my uh, uh, MAC address. OK, it is. My MAC address. Screenshot is better than this. OK, <laughs> screenshot is better. These many are not required, so then just uh, I'm deleting few. So get Mac. Okay, so uh, only one or maybe multiple things you can able to see. Another one is IP address. Uh, you want to check the IP address, right? IP address. 
in that one you can see yours ip can pay and ip can pay slash all so don't worry why i put a ip address part here okay so i will show you that one okay so uh, generally you want to check the ip address ip config all but you want to check uh, sorry ip config is enough but you want to check so many things then it is ip small i okay command is small i if you put a capital i also no problem guys but problem is if you see that i and it is capital i you think if it is l then you put a lp config okay that problems are there or some put a one p config so that many problems are there so it is ip config or ip config all and there is a question so what is the difference between ip config and ip config all so we'll see that one ip config okay so this is the command i given ip config okay so in this ip config i got a some information so not every information is important just i will take what i want <laughs> it is full so don't worry this is ip config here i given windows ip config and we are deleting some stuff from here this is also not required so i have a multiple adapters some are a virtual adapters also there so obviously we don't require those virtual adapters Yeah, we got a what we want, but it is still showing a uh, uh, showing space. Okay, otherwise I will remove all these things. Why, why, why this it is? A better I'll put it here. Why this is very slow? It is better. Okay, see it is. When I put a IP config, it is showing so many things. Okay, so many things it is showing. Look at IP config. So disconnected medias, other adapters like a my uh, other adapter NP cap adapter, um, some local area network, VM net one, okay, and uh, uh, Wi-Fi adapter like this. Okay, you can see uh, this is my IPv6 address. I'm not putting IPv6 address. I will remove my IPv6 address. This is my link local IP address. Think like that only. And this is a gateway address. Demo. So look at here it is. This is one configuration. Now I think it is a little better. <laughs> so only one configuration. Okay, it is become very big. Yeah, very big. Yeah, 
this part is also not required so better you can see uh, only okay ip config if you put it so these are the basic information you'll get it one is your ip address and you are getting a subnet mask and you are getting a default gateway and you are getting a default gateway that's it only no mac address no mac address no other thing i think this is much clear okay so we'll see if i put a ip config all okay is another command ip config space slash all there is a space here now it is generating lot of data again so we'll take it from here if i put a ip config all so then it is showing so much of data so then we'll see what data we are getting so we need one adapter information only not all adapter information is not required uh, don't worry so we'll go into delete so many things from here so uh, we, we will get about we want ethernet ethernet connection to and cap ethernet okay and this adapter is also not required this adapter also not required yeah we don't required vmnet 1 and vmnet 8 yeah, up to here not required and also vmnet 2 this is required information this is not required information this is the important data it is you need to understand okay so when you see this thing we we'll look at here we can see your um, ip config all so where i put it ip config all so it is showing my host name and some other information which is not there anyway and next my adapter is my wifi adapter so check your adapter name properly this is my wifi adapter it is showing my uh, nic name my mac address dhcp enable yes or no yes means i got ip address from dhcp okay next ipv6 addresses ipv4 addresses and also my dhcp server address and my dns server address it is showing and also it is showing my default gateways and when i got this ip address when it will be expires okay so here it is this information is not required so just to understand what is my uh, host name kind of stuff i'm changing names uh, uh, for example host uh, yeah. okay uh, this part is not showing any data so that's why i'm deleting it says does not mean uh, it is uh, something kind of stuff okay yeah anyway i don't want to put my ipv6 data here ipv4 data is no problem and again my adapters ipv6 for dns server ipv6 also i would not want to put here this information also i want to delete
Okay. So it contains little uh, extra data. That's why it is showing like. So important. Why why I put this thing uh, uh, to show you this is. to understand the difference between IP config and IPv6, sorry, IP config and IP config all. So what is the difference? IP config shows only IPv4 address and subnet mask and default gateway. Only these three things information only. But in a IP config all, there is a space is there. So look at here space. You will get a host name. It's better uh, remove the spaces. Okay, uh, increase the space so then uh, you will understand. So we will get a host name. And uh, you'll get a um, uh, your physical address. You'll get a your physical address. So you will get your MAC address. So how to find a MAC address? One of the thing is get MAC. One of the thing is like a get MAC. Okay. Another one is IP config all. Another thing is IP config all. Okay. Two commands are important. One is get MAC. Second command is IP config slash all. So you will get a, a, your uh, MAC address very clearly with the IP config all. And also to find an IP address, IP config and IP config slash all. So you will get a MAC address and as well as a, your IP address. Okay. So if you got an IP address from your uh, router or uh, some server, you are getting automatically you are getting an IP address from your DHCP server. So yes S means you got a automatic IP address. And you will get a subnet mask and default gateway. Just like here, you got IP address, subnet mask and default gateway. So it is IP address, subnet mask, default gateway. But what are things extra you are getting? You are getting DHCP server address, DNS server address, you are getting a MAC address also. Guys, understand how to check the IP address and how to check the MAC address. Yes, It's a space problem. I'll keep it like now. Okay. So check the IP address and MAC address. But our concept is what is the NIC? So what is NIC? It is interface card between your computer or a device to network uh, device. Okay. So it contains a MAC address. Okay, it contains a MAC address. MAC address are given by manufacturer of NIC. Okay, MAC address are given by manufacturer of NICs. So how to check the MAC address and IP address? Simply go to ncpa.cpl. Okay, there you will find your adapter. There you will find an adapter. OK, so right open it, open the adapter, double click, then you will find the status. Go to details, there you will get a details. You will find your MAC address and uh, IP address. OK, you will find your MAC address, your IP address 
and your subnet mask, default gateway, DHCP server address, DNS address. And also you will get a, your uh, IPv6 related addresses also. Okay. <laughs> All check marks are there. So I'm going to remove these check marks by putting eraser. Check it. This is a MAC address, IPv4 address, subnet mask, default gateway, DHCP, DNS address. So you can get an IP address. You can get an IP address and subnet mask. Uh, sorry. You can also check your MAC address by using the command called a get MAC. By using the command called a get MAC. OK, so there is a two basic commands are there here. So one is get Mac and the is a IP config all. If you type I Mac get Mac, you'll display the your different physical IP addresses, Mac addresses based on your adapter. Next, to check the IP address, we use two type of commands. One is IP config and IP config all. If you put IP config all, you will get a your host name, your MAC address, and your IP address, subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS address, DNS server address, DHCP server address. Okay, if you put a only IP config, you won't get a MAC address, DHCP server address, DNS address. Only you are getting IP address, subnet mask, and a default gateway only. So this is your small part of IP address and MAC address and small one more point here that is this NICs are different types are there based on the speed starting earlier days we have a Ethernet earlier days we have a Ethernet called a Ethernet only the name is Ethernet the speed is 10 Mbps speed of Ethernet is 10 Mbps and next version is fast Ethernet. Next version of Ethernet is fast Ethernet. The speed is 100 Mbps. Next version of Ethernet is 1000 Mbps. That is gigabit Ethernet. OK, so these are the main points of your NIC. Just I want to go once again. So to connect your device to the network, we need an NIC. NIC means network interface card, also called as LAN card and Ethernet card. Or a Ethernet card. So each LAN card having a, a MAC address, also called as a physical address, or a unique address, or a hardware address, which is given by manufacturer of NIC, which is given by manufacturer of NIC. We cannot change NIC MAC address like this. Okay, so we'll. So, MAC address given by manufacturer of NIC. Manufacturer only. Manufacturer of NIC. Okay. At the time of manufacture, it is there. So guys remember we cannot change MAC address. Okay. We cannot change MAC address. Okay, like an IP address, my laptop IP address, I connected to this network, one kind of IP address I'm getting. For example, if I go to Hyderabad uh, to office, Hyderabad office. I will get some other IP address. If I go to my sister's home in Hyderabad, I'll get some different IP address. If I go to Pune, my home network, that is different IP address. If I go to Pune office, I will get a different IP address. Their local IP address only I'm getting. We are not using any public IP address, but we are using local IP addresses. So MAC addresses are given by manufacturer. Manufacturers, we cannot change. 
it won't change. It cannot change or won't change. Means you change the network MAC address, don't change. If you change your network, means you connected to different network. Like I said no, I connected in Vishakhapatna. Next, tomorrow I am going to Ushak, uh, Hyderabad, for example. I connected in a Hyderabad uh, office, different network, different IP address. Okay, so like that. If you change network, IP address changes. MAC address not change. My my MAC address won't be changed. Remember that one. Okay, so that is the meaning of we cannot or won't change the IP address. Okay, we cannot change the MAC address. MAC address won't be changed. Okay, and MAC address is given by NIC. MAC address is also called as physical address. Okay. Max spoofing possible. What is a max spoofing? People who do ethical hacking kind of stuff uh, in the LAN network, in the LAN network. So max what? LAN network. Okay. Not valid in a WAN network. Within the LAN only. Your Mac within the LAN only. Okay, so in a within the LAN, you want to hack someone or you want to spoof uh, your Mac, so then you won't get communicated. Or maybe if you want to redirect all the packets to your PC, then you can able to spoof your Mac address. So that kind of stuff possibility is there. So Mac spoofing is possible. Mac binding is possible. Using Wi-Fi networks for security. For example, you know, uh, I uh, in in a Pune office, in not Pune office, in a Pune uh, um, home. Uh, one of my uh, my owner, my owner and a neighbor uh, both uh, asked my um, suddenly they came and asked. Uh, um, give me uh, your Wi-Fi uh, username and password. So I took their mobile phone. I given the password also. Okay, so I keep it a password. One day I checked. Uh, um, I check this. So why my internet is very slow? So I I open my uh, router interface in my laptop. So then I, I can see there is a um, things like a, a, not a mic things i have a computer i have a laptop i have a mobile phone i have a another mobile phone in pune and i have a uh, what we can say tablet is there i check all my devices all the regular devices regularly connecting some new devices two new devices are connected so what i have done so i block those devices okay i block those devices what will happen so in my router it it take Mac at Mac. Um, you take the Mac uh, uh, address of the remote device. So when there are want to connect it to my Wi-Fi router, it rejects the connection. You know. So in our uh, Hyderabad office, uh, my laptop won't work. Again, I have to ask people. Uh, uh, please give me a connection. Okay. So what happened when there are when I connected to their Wi-Fi router? So my uh, given username and password correctly, but it will block. So why it will be blocked? Because of there is a, a MAC binding is there. So in their router, they put a MAC binding. We only allow these particular systems only. Because of everybody carrying their own mobile phones, right? Mobile phones are there, laptops are there, okay? Uh, desktops are there. So what happened? People will connect it to their mobile. So laptop, they use very neatly, but mobile phones are there. So what happens? So they'll connect it to mobile phone. They watch movies, songs, downloads, but they do. So there's a lot of button on the internet. 
and that of security compromises are there. So we can able to do MAC binding is there. So generally we use in a Wi-Fi networks security. OK, next. Remember always guys, you cannot communicate with the MAC address. This is a, another question people will ask. So generally like in a discussion, can we communicate with a MAC address? Yes, we cannot communicate with a MAC address. OK, can we communicate with a MAC address? Actually, no, we cannot communicate with the MAC address. OK, I said yes, right? So yes means uh, the question is yes, but answer is no. OK, so we cannot communicate with the MAC address. Remember always guys, this is a very important point I'm telling now. All communications. By IP address without IP address, we can't communicate. Without IP address, we can't communicate. So all are communications by IP address only. OK, so this is the some of the important points. Related to. MAC address. So next, how to check the MAC address? OK, and how to check the IP address and difference between IP config and IP config all. Um, guys understand three points. What is NIC? Different type of NICs. What is MAC address? Different type of NICs with the speeds. Ethernet 10 Mbps, fast Ethernet 100 Mbps, gigabit Ethernet 1000 Mbps. NIC also called a LAN card, Ethernet card. 48 bit MAC address and how it is look like represented in hexadecimal 12 hexa 12 numbers are there in this one 12 hexa numbers and uh, what is the importance of mac address and that how to check the mac address like this and how to um, take the mac address using command prompt like a get mac and ip config space slash all next how to check the ip address and how to check the IP address along with other data, IP address and MAC address using a command prompt like a IP config slash all reference. Understand or not understand, guys? Yes, sir, understand. Very good. Yeah, I understand, sir. Okay, so we have a half an hour time, no problem. Just, uh, just five.